Why, how are you guys doing today? Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Upworld Games, and we are talking about Homefront, The Revolution, and of course, we couldn't forget about Tom Clancy's The Division. They're pretty much both post-apocalyptic type games. Very excited for both of them. Of course, if you want to know more about Tom Clancy's The Division, you can go ahead and skip ahead by using the video guide in the description below, and the same can be said about Homefront, The Revolution. But... That's the game we're going to start out with, Homefront. A lot of us are curious about what in the world is going on with Homefront The Revolution. We have not heard about it in quite some time, and it looks awesome. Well, famous leaker Shinobi602 went on to say, Looking forward to seeing Homefront The Revolution again real soon. Now, this is the same guy that said, uh, the beta for Tom Clancy The Division would appear first on the Xbox One, and guess what? That actually ended up being true. So whenever he says something like this, I get very excited, and I'm expecting it to be at Gamescom uh, 2015, August 6th through the 9th. I'm crossing my fingers that we get to see a whole brand new demonstration, and the game looks really, really good. Now, I am worried about the game, of course, because it had some major publisher and developer woes. Uh, a lot of the Crytek UK employees got very, very upset with Crytek. They stopped working on the game. They basically revolted against the company because they were not being paid. Nice job, whoever was running that show. I mean, what in the world is going on there? But good news is publisher Deep Silver did pick up uh, the rights to publish Homefront of the Revolution. And a lot of the Crytek employees are now working uh, for Dan Buster Studios and get this even some guys from Free Radical are now on board They were working on the canceled Star Wars Battlefront 3 project So I now am extremely curious to see what is happening with Homefront the Revolution will it look the same will it look completely different We will be finding out soon enough So stay tuned here to open world games for hopefully some brand new gameplay Please look really good by the way, the release date is sometime in 2016. Don't expect it at all in 2015. So what about Tom Clancy's The Division? When can we expect to see something new from this game? Well, Ubisoft recently posted their lineup for Gamescom, and it included such games as Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Rainbow Six Siege, and of course, Tom Clancy's The Division, which will be present with a hands-on game demo. Uh, this means that people that are on the show floor will get to try out the game. Will we see a brand new trailer, new gameplay? Well, we better, because, you know, their competition is heating up. We've got Fallout 4 gameplay, which will be shown at Gamescom uh, 2016. So I would expect, hopefully, uh, Ubisoft Massive and Ubisoft saying, hey, we need to really get out there. We need to show something new, show off our game, and let people know what is going on, and show us uh, maybe a co-op mission, a raid, something new maybe even the base of operations or customization actually working that would be epic so hopefully they do show something if they do it would be again that key date range which is going to be august 6th through the 9th it's like the most important date you can think of in gaming right now uh, for the latest happenings in the world of gaming uh, but as always guys return here to open world games because you know i'm addicted to the coverage for tom clancy the division I'm crossing my fingers that this game is going to be amazing. I mean, it sounds amazing in theory and everything. And I did get to try it at E3 2015, and it was a total freaking blast. I mean, the controls were absolutely amazing. And I love this idea when it comes to going from co-op into the seamless Dark Zone PvP. Gosh, that is going to be epic to do. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. And as always, I will see you guys later. Bye.